Alice Littlefield knows Valentine's. First of all, you don't have much time. I don't because I had to go move my car uptown for all time. One stop, I went to TJ Maxx. I gave myself 15 minutes. I had seven gifts to buy. A guy, a girl, my grandma, a pet, um, a friend, etc. I got it all done. Uh, oh, son and daughter. <laughs> and the author and gift giver did it all for under a hundred bucks. The secret of Valentine's is not to empty your banking account, but mm -hmm. to let somebody know that you love them. So, rule number one. Any present becomes a great present if you creatively wrap it. Ooh. Now, this. What is that? It's my negligee in a vase. <laughs> look, okay, looks yeah, nice, right? Yeah. But, Deborah, open that end. Yeah. Okay, let's see which camera we're gonna use. Use that camera. <laughs> oh, you ate one. Oh wait, no, there's a ring in there. Will you marry me? Oh, I will. <laughs> okay, so the ring ain't real. Remember, it's from the Max, but tip number two is. My grandpa always did this. He would buy a card, and then on the inside, the words that meant, meant something to him, he would underline them. Now the best okay. is taking things to one extra level. So, you can write a note. What do you have down there? I got so much <laughs> stuff down here. You can't believe it. All right, but you can take an ordinary chalk. You can you can take <laughs> an over there. <laughs> you can take an ordinary chocolate bar. Yes, All right, these I are, love these are fantastic. Dark chocolate's very mm -hmm. good for you. And you can open it, write a gift certificate or a oh. note on the inside. That's so sweet. Drum roll, please. The ultimate last minute panic. Okay. This is my Valentine's Day fortune teller, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to fold this. If you get home tonight and you have not done anything else, this is your trick. For those who skip third grade, Bruce shows us how to do it. All the info's on pix11.com. Here's the gift for you on Valentine's Day. I'm washing your windows. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. Ugh, you know what? Forget the parking spot. I'm driving Bruce uptown. For a New Yorker, that's the ultimate Valentine's gift.